The following contest is scheduled for a two-hour time limit. Introducing first, coming from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, wrestling reporter and columnist Justin Labar. And his opponent, you. Call, tweet, email because you can go one-on-one -on -one with Justin Labar in wrestling reality right now on Trib Live Radio. Man, two days in a row with you guys here on Trip Live Radio talking wrestling. It's like a real job or something. <laughs> what is this? Wrestling Reality 101 with me, Justin Labar, presented to you by Tailgaters Bar and Grill. Coming off a, a great night at Tailgaters last night. We did the special broadcast, which I believe is on iTunes uh, at, the, at the current moment. You can check that out. It was uh, the post-game show for No Way Out and uh, pre-show for Raw at Tailgaters. I want to thank everybody who came out. Thank Tailgaters. They treated us great. $2 domestic draft, 25 cent wings. We're all had and tasty. Hung out, watched Raw there. It's great to have the fans around watching Raw. Had the, had the sound on. It was good time. And we got a lot to talk about here today. We're going to talk about everything that's coming off of Raw. We're going to talk about, we keep hearing about a big angle coming this summer, a big storyline. Also at 4.30, going to be joined by the CEO of Bellator Fighting. They're the uh, second largest MMA fighting organization in the country, and they got a show coming up just outside of Pittsburgh this week. Uh, and they are televised. We'll be talking to CEO Bjorn Rebney, all that uh, coming up at 4.30. But here we go. Last night's Raw, Mick Foley starts a show. I had said Mick Foley, I've been saying for months, Mick Foley had to be on that show in Long Island, and I thought this would be the start of a Dean Ambrose thing with him on, you know, on TV if they're still going to go forward with it. I got excited when I saw Foley come out. He ends up talking about how we're going to have past GMs and they're going to be making appearances and they're going to be taking the uh, control and hosting duties of the Raw for the time being in these upcoming weeks. But never mind all that. Forget the GMs and how the show is going to be ran. When did Mick Foley get a suit and tie? I saw this guy few, uh, last month at the Dominic DiNucci roast, or not, not, not roast, excuse me, the Hall of Fame, rather, when Dominic DiNucci was being inducted. Dominic DiNucci, of course, who trained McFoley. Foley showed up as a surprise. Foley was in sweatpants. And, and it's typically, you know, he looked like he just, you know, was ready for a Hell in a Cell match. Not a knock on him. I'm just surprised here. I didn't see, no, he had had a suit and tie. Laurinaitis comes out and wow, just wow. Big Johnny. I, I, I'm sorry. I know I say this every week. I can't get over how entertained I am by everything that Big Johnny does. His look, how pathetic he acts. The People Power logo and the mannerisms. Love it, love it, love it. CM Punk and Sheamus versus Daniel Bryan and Kane is a match made, and that is what we start with. The story of this one was, of course, AJ coming out in the middle of the match in a red and black, uh, you know, uh, get up with a Kane mask on, and she skips around the ring, distracts Kane, leaving Daniel Bryan to get both finishers, and the champions win. The story continues to get better on that one. Vicky is finally going to choose between Swagger and Ziggler. The two going to have a match. Dolph Ziggler with a Ric Flair strut. Woo! In the middle of the match, Dolph Ziggler gets the win. A black limo is shown pulling up, which I wish they did more of this. I don't care if Hornswoggle steps out of the limo. The excitement of Monday night when you see a limo pull up. Ooh, good stuff. Paul Heyman. He comes out to the ring. He says, in response to Triple H wanting to fight Lesnar at SummerSlam, he says, I'm going to give you a word you're probably not used to. No. Triple H then comes out. He and Heyman go back and forth. A very organic feeling here. Two guys very comfortable on the mic and can go out and just wing it. It felt so real. It ends with Triple H giving a nice knockout punch to Paul Heyman. Del Rio, Alberto Del Rio, I guess, you know, had a concussion. He couldn't do the title match, but he's back, you know, 24 hours later uh, after that title match in No Way Out. He's back on Raw in action. Del Rio in a quick one, though, uh, keeping his action limited as he goes up against Santino, beats Santino in less than a minute. And once again, Del Rio with the win. It seems the fast-paced train of pushing Del Rio is picking back up. We shall see how far down the track it gets. Cindy Lauper. Girls just want to have fun. Yeah, you know that. Cindy Lauper, Wendy Richter in the ring. They get interrupted by Heath Slater, of all people, who starts singing, who's then interrupted by Rowdy Roddy Piper. Piper entertaining as always. Cindy Lauper smashes the frame gold record over Slater's head. Slater has now been punked out by two musicians. He had, of course, the Flow Rider incident at WrestleMania. Now, Cindy Lauper. Two nights in a row, a real tag team match with real tag teams. And it wasn't even for any titles. We get the primetime players, Titus and Darren, 
taking on Primo and Epico. Primo and Epico get the win after the primetime players get counted out. What was supposed to be Laurinaitis, Otunga, and Big Show in the main event versus John Cena turned into Laurinaitis and Otunga versus Cena because Big Show says he is moving on to bigger and better things, and he leaves. Otunga gets beat down by Cena, as does Laurinaitis, who ultimately gets put in the STF, and that is that. We end kind of rather flatly and, 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 and simply, and the crowd goes home happy. Actually, what happened after all seems like that was more entertaining from what I read. 412-320-7925 is the number. Sports talk at TribWeb.com is the email. And of course, you can tweet me at Justin LaVar. We come back. We'll talk about what could the big angle be this summer. We'll also talk about what is next for Big Show. What's next for a lot of guys. Plus, we'll take your calls, tweets, and emails and more. It's Wrestling Reality presented by Tailgaters.